make your point on the news hour join arnab every night on the news hour with your question ask your question and join the debate There is a shocking and a horrifying incident that's taken place in Uttar Pradesh. A seven-year-old in Allahabad was first raped, then murdered three weeks later to prevent her from sharing the details of the crime. The minor was allegedly raped on the 5th of this month by her neighbor. The family has also alleged that the cops refused to register her case. In fact, we do also know that the co cops later on even went on to bury the body of the victim without handing it over to the family. Now, what's really happened there was the laxity on part of the uh, police to, uh, to act. How is it that for three weeks the accused was still out and could go to the extent that the girl was then dragged out of her house by five people and killed in cold blood a seven-year-old who was first raped on 5th of this month and then days later she was uh, uh, killed in fact Amir is on the phone line Amir what's happening here did the police not act in time well absolutely you know the police seems uh, absolutely unconcerned out here and absolutely uh, you know insensitive because uh, but this is perhaps the most gruesome and shocking murder that we've seen in the state of Uttar Pradesh in recent times. You know, imagine what must have been going on in the mind of uh, that lady, you know, the mother of the victim, when uh, her daughter, seven-year-old daughter, was abducted in front of her eyes and she was taken away and she was uh, later, you know, stabbed and murdered uh, by a group of five men. And uh, one of them, uh, in fact, who happens to be uh, the father of... Uh, uh, the, the the rape accused, the 15-year-old uh, rape accused, who's finally been arrested uh, by the police. But uh, the police absolutely fails uh, to explain why it did not uh, register the case over a period of three weeks after uh, that rape happened on the 5th of June. The boy was finally apprehended. He was arrested and sent to jail. But that only happened on the 27th of uh, June. So, you mm. know, there were over three weeks uh, that uh, the family of the victim continued uh, to run from pillar to post to seek justice, to ask the police to register a proper case and do its investigation. And in fact, later on, we, we saw that, you know, police forcibly kind of uh, took the body of that little girl uh, from her parents and other relatives and possibly did a cremation uh, separately from the family. So, you so know, they refused to even give the body to the family. Is it Amir that they refused to give the body to the family? And we have visuals of men in uniform also beating up a man. Now, what happened there? Well, absolutely. You know that that is the main concern because the, uh, the police's version is that uh, since it's a law and order case, uh, the the family could have taken the body with them. They were planning to sit on an inter intersection there uh, uh, in the area, and they were planning to uh, do a detailed protest and agitation. It could have actually spiraled out of control, and therefore. Seeing the law and order situation, the family and relatives of the girl were uh, prevented, were not allowed uh, uh, the, to take uh, the body of the victim with them. But, uh, you know, the kind of insensitivity that the police has uh, shown is absolutely condemnable because here you know, in the visuals you can see them, you know, beating up the relatives and close relatives and family of the victim uh, uh, just because they were demanding uh, the cremation the way it is done uh, in their culture. So, uh, also, you know, the five... Uh, the five accused in the case who actually went on to murder the uh, the girl, uh, which also includes the father of uh, the accused, still absconding. The police has not been able to trace them. Even uh, four days after that gruesome murder took 